morning, guys. Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Been out here on a little scout this morning, sitting on a high ridge above the creek bed now. I've had a lot of questions about how much property I've got out here. I've got 65 acres. Um, probably 60 of that is wooded. But I've also got access to surrounding properties that gives me access to probably 150 odd acres, something like that, all wooded. Um, I've got a nice creek bed that runs down through here uh, that I've been utilizing in this Journal of the Yurt. Um, this creek is spring fed from two different locations, but it also has a drainage from a pond. So that water that's in that pond probably has some old uh, mining equipment and things like that in it because a lot of these caves out here are mining caves and there's a lot of rust in that water. So I do drink the water out of this creek down lower toward the uh, back end of the property where the yurt's at. But I would recommend to most of my students when they come out here that they boil this water. So I wanted to answer that question while I was out here. I thought what I would do while I'm sitting here is, you know, in the frontier, they carried what was called a haversack much of the time. And you see me carry my Pathfinder haversack. And it's just an oilskin pouch made out of cotton duck that's oilskin. And I carry it quite a bit. And I use it for lots of things. But the general purpose use of that was to carry sundries like food. Okay, that was generally what they carried their cooking utensils and their food in was their haversack. And then they carried their shot pouch, which carried all of their shooting accoutrements. So generally speaking, the haversack would be used to carry the sundries that you would carry with you on a truck or a scout. And being that I'm out here on a scout right now, I kind of threw some sundries in here just in case I wanted a quick meal or a quick snack on the trail. And I think that's what I'm going to do. It looks like it's going to rain today. I've got a nice rock overhang over top of me right here. I think I'm going to hold up here for a few minutes. I've got a good flat rock I'm sitting on right here on this ridge. And I think I'm going to fire myself up a quick snack before I go back to the yurt. Um, not seeing any activity of animals right now at all. I was hoping to secure a little bit more meat, but if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But right now, let's cook up a snack. So basically what you can see is the contents of what I had in my haversack. It's not that much weight. Um, I had my 32-ounce stainless steel bottle with my nesting cup. I had my Pathfinder pack stove wrapped around the bottle. And it'll slide up and down or slide off if I need it to. Put it nest in there real good like that. I do have a can of chafing fuel here. Okay, and that's what we sell with the Pathfinder pack stove. I find that it burns hotter and longer than alcohol. Um, I have a lot of questions about why don't you just carry an alcohol stove. This stuff burns hotter than alcohol and it burns longer than alcohol. In the long run, it's cheaper than alcohol. And this container is multi-purpose. Once it's empty, I can fill it with tallow, beeswax, alcohol, or any other burnable material that I want to put a wick into and it will still burn as a canister. Okay. Um, I've got a few cotton balls here I use for wicking material. I've got four 12-penny nails here, or 12-D nails. Again, that's a very multi-purpose item. I don't carry them all the time. Um, but when I'm specifically out doing something like trapping, I do carry nails a lot of the time to nail trap uh, wires and things like that into trees to hold them in place. Um, I've got four nails in here. I've got a titanium spork, a small quart freezer bag with some hot cocoa in it, and then I've got a piece of paper here, uh, just a lunch sack that's wrapped, got a piece of squirrel meat wrapped in it off my squirrel. Okay, so once I've got my wick in there, I just need to get my ferrocium rod out here off my knife sheath. You see that was burning on the knife. That knife does a fantastic job of striking a ferrocium rod. And that's going to wick right down in there, pick up that fuel, and fire it right up. So now that allows me to light that with my ferro rod. Now squeeze that together, pop it right on there just like that, all neat and tidy. Then we can get some water cooking here first. You know, this uh, Pathfinder pack stove would work just as well with, you know, a soda pop can stove like Mini Bowl and things like that. Uh, it would work just fine 
for any of those type of alcohol stoves because it's big enough in diameter it fits around this can which is about four inches in diameter it would drop right over the top of a soda can type alcohol stove and like I said you can wrap that thing right around your water bottle so it makes it real convenient um, I talked to my dad and he was talking about selling the actual stove separate from the chafing fuel but the thing is um, I think it's only a dollar more the way he's talking to get the chafing fuel um, we get that stuff pretty cheap so he throws that in with the package for a dollar more so you're really not going to save a whole lot of money by just buying the stove and then you get the fuel canister you can use for multi-purpose things as well or for you know the chafing fuel itself if you want to okay so what I'm doing now is to cook my meat I put my fire ring in the hot bed of coals you know the Pathfinder pocket stove is right there I've got four nails across that that are just sitting in the indentions around the top of the stove and that basically gives me a grill top over the hot coals to cook my meat. So now I'm going to cook my squirrel leg up, have a snack with my hot chocolate, and move on. You could do the same thing with your cup. You know, if you want to get your cup up out of the coals so you had oxygen flowing underneath it, you could just put that ring right in a hot bed of coals and put your cup right on top of it, and that would give you oxygen flow from underneath. So it's a very, very multi-purpose item from use with fuel canisters to use with uh, different types of alcohol stoves to use, you know, just in the coals like this. It weighs nothing, wraps right around your water bottle. I wanted to kind of show you guys where I'm at here. You can see this great big huge limestone overhang over my head here. It's just a beautiful area of the property out here. It drops right over the top of that ridge and down into some caves. It's on a ridge line above the creek bed here. It's a great place to hang out and watch and listen. All right, well, looks like our piece of squirrel's pretty well done here. Oh yeah, look at that, nice. Get that dude ate, head back to the yurt.